Okay, I'm back. So y'all ready to change your mind? Uh, I got some more. So check this out.
wait a minute. What the old folks got to say? opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted one moment would you capture it or just let it slip yo
Oh my God. Okie dokie. Here we go. He's been um, such a support system for myself and so many musicians, and I just felt I'd like to nominate him and, and obviously his connection with uh, Jackie McLean and, and what Sonny um, means and represents to the legacy of the saxophone and to the music. And I just felt that Sonny is such a uh, humble uh, person, but I just think that he deserves the recognition and he's earned it. He's been such a, a light, the North Star for so many years for us. And I'm just uh, happy that he's going to be able to be um, the recipient. And, and, and knowing Sonny, he, it's for so many others that he walks with them beside him in this situation. But uh, I'm just so excited. It shows you the a level of appreciation and yeah. a level of uh, uh, just uh, respect for Sonny for yeah. what he's done. <laughs> yes, I did. I listened to Sonny so much. I mean, by the time I was at Berkeley, I had so many of Sonny's recordings. I was surprised everyone didn't have the amount of recordings that I had because I was uh, so heavily interested in Sonny's playing and his records and his style. And um, yeah, uh, that was my man and still is. Jackie came and started, I think, in the late 60s, just teaching one course, which was not a jazz course. He was talking to students about drug prevention. And from there, he started to teach some jazz courses. And at his insistence, they were able to start a jazz program. And Jackie took it, I mean, from the ground up, literally. And other things that he did in the area. And I mean, he's an icon in general, but absolutely just um, an icon of the area for what he did. And with he and uh, Mrs. McLean and their family to establish the Artist Collective, the first one, and then to build this brand new, unbelievable structure in the heart of Hartford. And uh, yeah, Jackie is um, integral. Without him, they would, I don't know that there'd be a program like this. So that's what gives a special meaning for me because it's, it's a guy that was out there, and as we say, making his bones, playing the music, and now deciding to support academia and and give young people the opportunity through um, an institution of higher learning to learn the music. So um, it's in that spirit that the program still um, strives to have a continuum based on his uh, passion and love and um, uh, vision to have music at, at the University of Hartford. I never knew that that's the direction he would go in. We were just trying to be uh, horn players. I think he had a great contribution, many fine students, and uh, he made a great contribution to that school and to jazz in general. I guess you can see where I'm going with this, and if they can be taught, Anybody can be taught, and I guess I'll be the one. Be blessed.